Bit Frontiers, an OTC listed stock that went up 22% yesterday and 200% in the past month. What is going on everyone? I hope you're having a great day. To be clear, I am not a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment purposes only. Today, I will be talking about Bit Frontier, a Bitcoin mining startup that is about to explode. We will be going over recent price action and whether this is potentially a buy. Before I begin, could I please ask you to like the video and subscribe if you find this informative and drop a comment below to let me know if you're interested or even already invested. So to begin, BitFrontier is a company based in Virginia and is also one of the riskier Bitcoin mining plays. They have yet to have a facility and they have zero profits as they are currently developing all of their facilities. However, they have tons of miners ready to be deployed once their facilities are done developing. This is a much riskier play than Argo and HUD8, two Bitcoin mining stocks that I've already made videos on. So make sure to check out my videos on Hargo and HUD8 as there are news that have come out recently that might make them 10x stocks. On Friday, this stock went up 22% to 6 cents per share, which was amazing to see. And basically throughout the day, we consolidated around that 6 cent mark. This past week, the stock has steadily grown 5 to 10% every day. And finally on Friday, the stock boosted to a price of 6 cents. Again, this is a penny stock, so it is very volatile. But with the rise of Bitcoin, this stock should continue to go up. And when they finally announce their new facilities, the stock will definitely jump up as well. So this is a news article that came out around two months ago, but it is very informative. So it says BitFrontier Capital Holding announces electricity has been turned on at its first crypto mining facility. So I'm going to start off with their uh, profile as it gives a bit more information about what BitFrontier actually is. So it states, BitFrontier Capital Holdings' business plan is to concentrate on cryptocurrency-related investments and development opportunities through cryptocurrency mining, investments in private and or public entities, joint ventures, and acquisitions of blockchain-related companies. BitFrontier Capital Holdings has two wholly-owned operating subsidiaries, BitFrontier Capital Investments and BitFrontier Technologies. Through the company's wholly-owned subsidiary, BitFrontier Technologies, the company is currently in the final stages of construction of a warehouse specifically designed for hosting cryptocurrency mining equipment. So I'm now going to scroll up and read the rest of the article. So BitFrontier is excited to announce that power has now been turned on at our first facility and they are now just awaiting internet to be hooked up and then they will be fully operational. Meanwhile, the process of setting up miners on the racks has begun. It also states that the BitFrontier management has been expanding the company's assets and equipment as they waited for this day and they will have several important updates to follow in the coming weeks as they begin setting up and bringing the miners online. Another interesting aspect of BitFrontier is that they canceled over 12 billion shares to finance their new facility. So what they did is that they raised minimal money to do the majority of the work themselves to build it. So the only aspects of the construction process management of BFCH did not personally do was pouring the concrete slab and installing the sheet metal on the roof. Everything else was done in-house and thus took a substantial amount of time. They said that they wanted to keep their share structure very shareholder friendly. So they believe that although they went for the route that took much longer, it was worth it in the end and added significant shareholder value. They ended off by saying that despite the delays, Bitcoin prices have cooperated quite nicely in their favor and they look forward to getting the rest of their obligations in order now that they have the main priority accomplished with a beautiful brand new mining facility in the USA. Now, after reading this article and gaining all this new information, I am even more excited about this company as they are definitely looking out for their shareholders. They are building their new facility and are trying to do it at the minimal cost and they have their miners ready to be deployed. Now, what are my thoughts and price targets? Well, this company definitely has a ton of potential and right now it is somewhat undervalued, but the thing is, is that they don't have a mining facility up and running yet. I believe that once they have their facility up and running, this stock price will boost up to around $1. And thus, my price target is $1, but that'll only happen once their facility is up and running and once they announce it. That being said, this is very much a penny stock still, so as easy as it is for this stock to go up 22% one day, it can easily drop 22% the next day. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your due diligence before investing in this stock. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and let me know what you want me to review in a future video. I will see you guys soon.